Well, we have uh, set out a collective position by the Cabinet after a very long, as you know, conversation that we had, weighing up a range of issues that we have. Uh, we have to be able to maintain access to the European market, uh, which is 44% of our exports, but not tie our hands in terms of future trade agreements. Now, all of this is still to be decided. We have, uh, are now looking at the withdrawal agreement, which is, if you like, the divorce part uh, of the European Union settlement. We still have the future relationship, including our trading relationship, to be done. Now, we are, there are still a number of uh, iterations of this. This still has to be commented upon by our European partners. It then goes to the European Council uh, in November. It will then come back to the British Parliament to make these decisions. And, of course, we'll want to uh, uh, ensure we get clarity uh, and final uh, arrangements on this. There are breaks and uh, numerous references to the temporary nature of a number of elements of this. The backstop itself, I think, would be unattractive uh, in many ways to the European Union, so there's no incentive for them to want to carry that forward for any length of time. Um, but uh, I have full confidence in, in the Prime Minister. I think she's taking us forward uh, with, with confidence and, I have to say, with resilience. Uh, and I very much agree with, with, with Michael Gove that uh, what we need now is stability, remembering that nothing is agreed until everything is agreed. Are you going to vote yes then in the Houses of Commons when the, when the vote does go to Parliament? Well, I've always taken the view that uh, you stick to the collective agreement that is reached by the government. And if you don't, then as some of my colleagues have done, then you step aside from the government. But I think at the moment we need to get away from questions of personality. We need to get on to issues of substance. Uh, and above all, we need to recognise that we need to act in, in the national interest and we need to focus on these negotiations. They're, they're not complete. Uh, we still have a, a way to go and we will still have then to negotiate our future partnership, which will be, uh, in terms of the UK's trading uh, performance, uh, very key to, to that. Hey everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.